135 is actually a great ship. It's the first time I've flown a machine like this. It's so sophisticated. I said to the pilot Dick Ormshaw, uh, you know, it's rather like flying a soundproof lift, you know. Performance, smooth, vibration-free hover, a semi-trim system in the hover. I think a guy could come from a Robinson 22 and jump in this. He would at least hover it. He might take him some time to understand the systems, though. We didn't get to maximum speed, but it's a 150 knot ship. We were cruising at about 120 knots. My pilot simulated an engine failure. It's got a training mode, believe it or not. You can set up a training mode on this machine, and all the indications are that you are in an engine failure, but unless you select it, you've still got both engines running. In fact, the approach we made just now was in training mode. This particular one, of course, is a very special customised version, but its major market, of course, is the utilities, the police and the air ambulance. It's got clamshell doors, you can have a flat deck here, so you've got a adequate room for a stretcher and, a, and an attendant. And one of the other differences, of course, the original type of this one didn't have a fence strong. That was fitted, I'm guessing, when Eads took over. But it's got an asymmetric uh, ten blade uh, system. Uh, which is a lot quieter because everybody knows the gazelle, the noisy gazelle, but this particular one, you probably notice coming in, is fairly quiet. It's very similar. I flew a 117 recently. It's very similar to that. Um, because it's a stiff head, um, it does take a little bit of time to get used to it and not be so fierce on the controls. I've only flown a couple of machines with an all-glass cockpit like this. It does take some time to see where you're going to start looking. Systems duplicated for both pilot and co-pilot, but once you get used to the presentation, I think it'd be one of the easiest things you could possibly imagine. If you're a computer guy, you'd find it natural. Um, Personalised interior, you might not quite like the orange, but the guy that's going to buy one of these is going to specify exactly as he wants it, and you can see you've arrived if you've got one of these, really arrived. Of all the machines I've flown similar to this or flown in, uh, this is probably leads the pack.